I'm a partner at Ashton's Legal and I head up our road transport regulatory law work. Yeah, in essence, uh, at Ashton's Legal, we have uh, a dedicated offering to clients in the area of road transport regulatory law. And this is looking after goods vehicle businesses and passenger uh, vehicle uh, businesses. Um, a large amount of that work uh, relates to operator licensing because uh, operators in those areas have to be licensed by the regulator that is the Office of the Traffic Commissioner, perhaps a less well-known area uh, of the law. Uh, and uh, operators have to fill, fulfill uh, certain obligations without which they can't uh, have a license. Uh, so vehicles have to be fit and serviceable, drivers have to be licensed, there are driver's hours and tachograph rules, working time rules uh, and, all the, and all this kind of thing. Um, and if businesses don't comply, uh, they can find themselves uh, called to uh, what's called a public inquiry in front of a traffic commissioner uh, who has significant powers to remove or reduce or suspend uh, their licences. So it's a very serious uh, area uh, of this type of work because um, action against the licences means that uh, these businesses can't operate their, uh, their fleets. So we... Uh, attend hearings around the country to, uh, to conduct these hearings uh, to look after our clients' uh, best interests. Well, I think many of the cases that we deal with typically start with some kind of visit from the DBSA, the agency that, that uh, uh, looks at vehicles and um, monitors vehicles uh, and operators in this country. Um, there will be non-compliance or shortcomings and the operator will be required to furnish DBSA with a reply addressing those problems. So we, we can help with that and then invariably um, the operator is called to a hearing uh, in front of the Traffic Commissioner so we then prepare all the paperwork, the documentation which can be voluminous uh, to support the operator and then we go to the hearing itself and we provide the representation uh, in front of the, the traffic commissioner, and that is a, uh, a significant core of the uh, of the work that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I think we've been doing road transport regulatory law for a long time, and that means that we feel that we've got we've got a good stand uh, understanding of this area, the issues how businesses operate, the challenges in this sector that goods and passenger operators uh, face and then we have the, the sort of the day-to-day -day compliance that we have to understand really well. Uh, things I've mentioned such as driver's hours rules, maintenance, inspections, uh, annual tests and all this kind of thing that is, is, is vital to know about. Uh, and I'd like to think that uh, we have a good relationship with our clients because they know that we have a feel for this area and we in turn understand uh, the, the challenges that they face. So that makes for a good solicitor-client relationship uh, that, that we can provide as our niche offering in this area. We're pleased to have uh, high rankings in the Legal 500 and the Chamber's Guide to the Legal Profession uh, and we have a, a broad base of uh, road transport clients in quite diverse areas of this particular uh, sector operating uh, very large fleets. So if you need any help or advice or representation in this area, please get in touch with us and we'd be delighted to help.